Well, good morning. Welcome back to the broadcast. 622 is the time. That means it's time for our business blast powered by Cheddar Baker Machado on the floor of the Stock Exchange. Baker, I don't know if you have any control over this. I don't think you do. The opening bell's at 930. It's been a bad day. The Dow has lost 5.3% in the last two days. Yeah, just an update on some of that, Rob, because it has been pretty painful here. The markets have lost about 1,300 points on the Dow. We basically have lost all of our gains that we had pretty much the entire summer and the S&P. 60% of the S&P is actually in correction territory. Ooh. However, we might have turned a corner, Rob, as Dow futures are now actually pointing to a 300-point positive open when markets open here in just a few hours. Meanwhile, Google is launching a new program meant to teach kids about online safety. Schools, of course, who sign up for the Be Internet Awesome program, love that name, will receive a free laptop, lesson plans, and even take-home materials on combating internet negativity. Now, Google is also gonna be providing $1,000 grants to 200 different schools to hold internet safety workshops. Pretty cool stuff here, Rob. That is cool, amazing what they're doing now, but smart as they look toward the future and not the past. Uh, Baker, I wanna go to Washington, D.C., the White House, the Oval Office, the scene of, uh, well, quite a scene yesterday between Kanye West and the president, but Kanye, not the only person that stopped by the White House yesterday. Yeah, Kanye got all of the attention, but it was because President Trump, he signed a bill into law yesterday actually updating music and copyright laws. This was actually really applauded by the music industry. It's called the Music Modernization Act, and it's meant to ensure compensation for artists, producers, and writers and make sure that it's streamlined throughout the whole industry, especially with the rise of streaming services. Now, among those in attendance, Kid Rock, John Rich, and Mike Love from the Beach Boys, well, in addition to Kanye. Did you see, by the way, Kanye's iPhone password, 0000? Yeah, well, he's, uh, you know, Kanye. He's, a, he's, a, he's a, quite a character, isn't he? <laughs> quite a character. Uh, I, I did see that. Uh, Donald Trump, by the way, a big fan of Kid Rocks, which I didn't know. I thought that was kind of interesting. All right, finally this morning, Baker, the estate of Amy Winehouse is carrying on her memory with some new modern technology that wasn't available, say, in the days of Elvis. Yeah, it is a little bit controversial, though, too, Rob. Yeah, the father of Amy Winehouse says she is going to return to stage, but in hologram form. Reuters is reporting that the projection will actually be accompanied by a live band and will tour the world for three years. Now, proceeds from this show are actually going to go to charities that help people with substance abuse. But, Rob, holograms, especially for those of people who have died, are really controversial. So do you think this is a good idea? Would you go see an Amy Winehouse show like this? No, I wouldn't go see an Amy Winehouse. No, I wouldn't. But I, I did read this. Uh, Michael Jackson, who does hologram shows right now, or I guess his hologram does, has made more money dead than most artists are making now yep. alive. So you can make a lot Same of money. Same with Elvis. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's all about, it's all about the cheddar. Cheddar. It's all about that cheddar. That's true. All right, Baker. Just imagine you and I'll be doing this way after we're dead. We'll do the project, uh, projections of us. <laughs> the doing hologram this versions of Rob and Baker. All right, Baker. I uh, hope things turn around there on the floor of the stock exchange. We'll see you on Monday. More bright side coming up on the other side.